Good morning, Hillview. Thank you so much for being here. Let's go ahead and stand as we enter our time of worship. Good morning. How many of you are ready to go? Amen. All right. Well, we're glad that you're here. I want to tell you a couple of things. First of all, uh, we received about a hundred of these. It's uh, from Lifeway. It's a kid's family advent guide. And you can pick one of those up on the second or third floor of the children's building. And I just want to encourage everybody, if you can grab one of these and kind of walk through uh, the advent together, um, that's a great thing to do. So those are available, second and third floor in the kids' building. Also, uh, you'll find an insert in your bulletin that has the December schedule. And, uh, and so I won't read through that every week. I will remind you that this Wednesday is our Campfire Carols. And uh, it's the, probably the one service we have a year where we, Keith parts his hair on the side. Uh, you'll wanna, you don't want to miss that. Um, but no, really, Wednesday night is a really powerful night. It's a fun night. It's a great night of fellowship. The gospel is ever-present. And so we want to invite you to come Wednesday night at 630. But you can check out the rest of the December uh, calendar uh, just by looking in there. 
If you're a guest here today for the first time, we are so glad that you're here. And you'll find a perforated edge in your bulletin, and you can just fill that out, rip it off, and you can either put it in the offering bag, or you can take it to the connection desk uh, out in the atrium, and they'll give you a packet of information, just letting you know what God's doing at Hillview and how you can be a part of what God is doing. So if you're here for the first time, thank you so much for being here. Uh, and want to say especially welcome on this Sunday of Hope. It's the first Sunday of Advent, and so we're reminded uh, in the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah 29, 11, the Bible says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. And so we'll be lighting a candle uh, each Sunday uh, for Advent, and this is the candle of hope. And so we're reminded today that Jesus really is our hope. Uh, and he's not just our hope, he's the only hope for the world. And so we're, we're going to pray together. Uh, we'll continue in worship. I want to remind you the communion stations are set up in the back and on each side of the balcony and up in the front. And as you feel so led uh, during the time of worship, you may make your way to one of those communion stations. But let's stand together and we'll pray. <clears throat> Father, we thank you for who you are. We thank you for the hope uh, that we have because of the gospel. Lord, we thank you for the way that you move and the way that you work. Lord, we thank you that you truly are the only hope for the world. And so, Lord, I pray that you would be lifted up, that you would be glorified, and that today would be a day of salvation. And, Lord, especially today, I pray you remind us of the hope that you have been, the hope that you are, the hope that you will be. Lord, that our forever is with you and because of you. So, Lord, we thank you for the gospel, and we thank you for who you are. It's in your name that we pray. All God's people said, all college students, there's a luncheon right after the 11 o'clock service in the fellowship hall. You're welcome to come.
Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest strain, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. Darkness seems to hide his face, and I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within. so much for this morning of hope to enter into the Christmas season of Advent with hope, Lord, that we get eternal life with you, God, and peace and grace as we walk on this earth waiting for you to return, God. We just thank you for the hope that rests in our souls as we wait and we long for you. And we just pray that this morning as we would give in this time that we would give obediently in your ways, Lord, which you've called us to, and that it would bless your kingdom. That the hands that give and the hearts that give would be pure in their giving, God. We love you, Lord, and it's in your name that we pray. Amen.
Rejection is dead, but God was not.